Hello class. In this video, we will learn how to create the many types of holes on your part models. All right. So ensure that you have the holes.ipt being launched inside your Autodesk Inventor. And from there, you will see the task list, the task list on the top right hand corner. So we have multiple items to be done now. So the first item here to create three times of diameter 16 true holes using the sketch placement. So the three holes of diameter 16 is supposed to be on these three points here. So click on hole. Automatically, Inventor will auto select the three points that have been created. Okay, these three points are created using the sketch. So Inventor will uh, automatically identify them as hole placement. Okay, with that, you can safely change it to 16 diameter. And this hole is actually a true all hole. So let's keep it to true all and press OK. Item number two, we are to create a diameter 32 counter sunk hole. Okay, with an opening of diameter 60 at 90 degrees. This will be done by using concentric placement. So again, repeat the function by clicking the hole tool. So to apply the concentric placement, we just need to start with the starting plane where the hole is supposed to begin from. And then next, apply a concentric reference, a circular reference point, which will be this full round here. Okay, with that, we have safely applied a point that is concentric, sharing the same center as this fillet itself. Now let's change it to a countersunk hole. So here, it is still a simple hole. So we leave the, the, the hole type to a simple hole. And now let's change the opening to 60. Uh, the angle of opening is still 90 degrees. And the smaller diameter is at 32 diameter. Okay, diameter 32. And this item is also true all. So make sure the termination has been changed to true all. Press OK. Third item on the list is to create a countable hole right over this feature here. Same thing, we'll be practicing the how to apply the concentric placement here. So click on hole. Select this as your starting point, your starting plane, and select a circular feature for your concentric placement. This time, instead of a countersunk uh, seating, we will apply the counter ball seating. Okay, next, we will change it to be 60 by 20 depth. So 60 is correct, but the depth is 20. And lastly, the hole itself, the smaller hole is actually diameter take two. So it's correct here. Ensure that it's true all and press OK. Let's rotate a little bit just to take a look, study the diagram carefully. All right, so we are happy with it. Click on this corner. OK, to continue doing so. Now we have to create a diameter 20 spot face with an opening of diameter 32 by 3 depth using a linear placement. Okay, the linear placement is 75 from this edge inwards and 50 from this edge this side. Okay, so for linear placement, let's apply the whole function first. Starting. Always start with the starting plane, which is at this point. Second, we apply the linear placement. So let's start with this edge. Okay. And from there, we know that this center of the hole is actually 75 mm away from this edge. And second will be this edge, which will be 50 mm away. Next, change it to a spot face sitting. The opening is 32 by 3 mm depth with a smaller hole opening of diameter 20. 
the termination is still true all okay and press okay for item five and six we need to move this end of part downwards to show the sketch so why what is the reason of this end of part occasionally we might not want to show the full sketches everywhere uh, we need to really focus on what it's uh, uh, what we're trying to do so that's why we sometimes move this end of part somewhere just to focus on certain areas okay so for this case let's move it all the way down so we can have the work point one number one and sketch number six to create the following items here so item number five to create three times of m24 with a depth of 20 mm using here 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 okay so click hold automatically the sketch point has been selected this is just a threaded hole a simple threaded hole so there's no sitting but the hole type let's change it to the tap hole and the track type let's change it to iso matrix profile the sizing put it as m24 and lastly the destination as we have known the first item here is always a cost track means a rough track uh, those are very standard in the industry so let's keep it always at the top portion unless otherwise specified then we can change to the smaller fine track values here now this item here is actually to a depth of 40 so let's change the termination to sorry the depth of 20. okay if you see here it doesn't go through all the way so this 20 actually applies to the the threaded depth and then the blind hole is always slightly longer by 2 mm or 3 mm so let's just change it to 22 mm to allow tapping and then press okay lastly we will create this diameter 20 by 24 depth blind hole using this work point number one as a starting reference so click on hole first step click on this work point and then click on the work plate to indicate where the hole is supposed to be starting from so this is actually a normal blind hole so let's change it from threaded to a simple hole and the diameter is 20 okay good for this case we are using 24 and then since it's a simple blind hole is always pointed at the end and then we can press okay let's look overall whether let's just check whether we have a correct model here everything is has been created correctly and then once we are happy with the results yeah we can save the part happy trying